Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I am very excited to share with you everything that I just picked up from a library book sale. Hey guys, welcome back. Like I said, I just want to share with you uh, everything that I just picked up from a local library book sale. Uh, now, this is probably one of the first library book sales I've been to, at least as an adult. Um, I think the last one I went to, I was probably in high school. Um, so uh, almost 10 years ago now, which is wild. But uh, I, I like library book sales because it's just, you know, you can get a light, uh, a nice variety of things, uh, usually very cheap. Um, I remember the library book sale that I used to go to when I was a kid, uh, they had VHS, it was like 10 for a dollar. And so uh, unfortunately, I didn't really collect movies all that much back then. And so I was probably passing up on lot, like a lot of great uh, VHS tapes. But now that I uh, collect movies, I kind of know what I'm looking for more. Uh, I did pick up a decent amount of things. So the DVDs were only a dollar a piece at this book sale. Uh, some of them were a little beat up, um, or they might have been a little scratched or whatever. But uh, all in all, I figured these uh, are films that I've been wanting to see and for a dollar each I figured you know no better time to uh, grab them so I'm just going to run through this stack um, I do have I'll give you a quick uh, teaser but I do have a, a decent stack here so uh, the first one here is the film Old uh, this is M. Night Shyamalan's uh, one of his newer movies uh, it's one that I just have yet to uh, come across to actually watch so uh, this one is one that I saw the trailer for a while back, but I uh, just, you know, was not able to uh, catch it in the theaters or anything. But uh, that is my friend Dahmer. Um, but you can see, like, there's uh, they have, like, a little library sticker here, and there's, like, this sticker here. Uh, there's one on the spine, um, and then on the back as well, there are stickers, uh, which is kind of annoying. Um, I wish they would put the stickers on the outside of the case. Um, that way you could just you know, swap out cases, but I, I understand why they do it. Um, the one that really is most annoying to me is the one on the spine here. I don't know if it'll focus just on that. Um, but um, yeah, so my friend Dahmer. Uh, then I have 47 meters down uncaged. Uh, I guess this is the sequel to 47 Meters Down. Um, so it's just, I've not seen either of the films, but i uh, excited to, I guess, watch that one. Um, then I have Don't Breathe 2. Uh, this is a film that I remember seeing the trailers for all the time when it was uh, being released, but this is uh, Gretel and Hansel. Then I have Loving Vincent. Uh, this one, the looks like the artwork got destroyed at some point. So it's literally just the, um, it, it's like a cardboard cutout of just the uh, the cover, but and the disc obviously. But this is a Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. So this is a sequel to uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Excellent Adventure. Uh, so um, I guess I do not have this actually in my collection at all. So I'm happy to at least have the disc. Someday I'll upgrade it. Um, to a better format, but uh, this is Escape Room, which just seems like a fun concept to me, uh, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, then this one's actually not a ex-library rental, but that is the film uh, Tuck Everlasting, which I remember watching this when I was a kid a long, long time ago, uh, so I figured for a dollar, might as well grab it. Uh, and this is one that I was honestly surprised that I do not have it in my um, collection at all, but uh, that is uh, Boogie Nights. So it's one that I've been meaning to pick up uh, every time I see it, but I've just never gotten around to grabbing it. And I believe this one is out of, out of print. Uh, I could be mistaken on that, but that, that is uh, Blood In, Blood Out. But I think I had this on VHS, so I figured it'd be a nice upgrade. Uh, this is one that I watched not too long ago. It honestly might have been this exact copy that I watched, um, that I, you know, rented from the library, but uh, that is Scream 6. And this is one that I was actually able to get the sticker off, which makes the spine just a whole lot, you know, better looking on the shelf uh, without that sticker. 
And again, another one that I watched uh, recently from the library uh, is Babylon, which I really enjoyed. Um, and again, I was able to uh, peel the sticker off of the spine. We got Creed 3. Um, I actually, I own all three Creed films now, and I have yet to watch any of them. Uh, so I need to get around to that. And then this is just some, you know, big dumb action fun, but fa Fast X or Fast and Furious 10. And I figured, you know, I might as well grab this for a dollar. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this movie, but uh, for a dollar, I figured I'd put it in my collection. And that is uh, Avatar The Way of Water. So now I have a copy of that. Um, and this is one that I feel like I got a lot of hype around it uh, that I did not catch in the theaters, but I am excited to watch it. That is a uh, Megan. And again, one that I didn't catch in theaters, but it looks like a fun movie. That is a uh, Cocaine Bear. And another one that looks fun um, is a uh, 65. The next one here is um, one that also looks kind of interesting, and that is uh, Alice Darling. So it's a little blown out on the camera, but you can kind of see the title there. Um, this is one that I caught on uh, Netflix, um, and uh, surprisingly, this artwork was reversible um, on the DVD, and so it was the same artwork on the flip side of it. Uh, so I was able just to flip the artwork around and there's no stickers on it at all, which is fantastic. But uh, that is uh, All Quiet on the Western Front. So this was a Netflix, I guess, original, um, if I'm not mistaken, or Netflix produced it or something. Um, but yeah, this is a technically a remake of the original uh, one that won Best Picture. Uh, and then this is one that I never see for sale anywhere. And so I figured I'd grab another copy of it because it is like my or fifth favorite movie of all time, and that is the film uh, Comet. And so I figured, you know, I only have one copy of it, so I'd rather have, you know, an extra copy laying around just in case. I don't really have too many extra copies of things, but uh, something like that that I never see for sale, I figured I would uh, grab. And then this is actually a Kino Lober title. Um, this is Appropriate Behavior. So there's a couple Kino titles, which is fun. Um, and I think, yeah, this is also a, a Kino Lober title as well. Uh, so, you know, whenever they had Kino Lober uh, titles, you know, I'd definitely grab them for a dollar. Um, and this is also one, this is uh, The 10th Man. Uh, so I figured I'd grab those. And the next one here, uh, this is a film by Terrence Malick. Uh, it's the only Terrence Malick movie I have not seen and I do not own, uh, but that is the film A Hidden Life. So obviously I'd like to get this on Blu-ray at some point, but uh, I'd rather own the movie on DVD than not own it at all. Uh, and then I have here three uh, Cohen Media Group titles. Uh, so I don't know a whole lot about this label, but I do have a couple other titles put out by them. And so I do consider it to be a boutique label. And so I figured, you know, I'd you know, grab three more. Plus I always like the spines. I feel like they look uh, pretty cool. So. I figured I'd add those. And surprisingly, they had a couple Criterion titles. Um, nothing really crazy, but, uh, you know, they, they had a few other ones that I considered purchasing. I think they had Eraserhead, uh, The Vanishing, and oh, there was a, The Innocence, I believe. Uh, I have all three of those already in my collection, and uh, also this, the discs for those were pretty scratched up. Um, but I have here, these are the two that they had that I uh, was missing. Uh, this is uh, Bergman Island. So this is a semi-recent. This is spy number 1170. And so it's a fairly recent um, release. And I would like to upgrade both of these eventually to Blu-ray, but I figured for a dollar grabbing Criterion, um, you know, be worth it. Even if it is an ex-library copy, um, I was able to thankfully peel off the spine sticker for this one. Uh, so I was thinking about reaching out to uh, Criterion and seeing if they would uh, sell me just the artwork for these. Uh, what is also annoying about these two is on the discs, they have this, um, this uh, sticker. So... Uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. And then the other criterion is the, the film Certified Copy. So and this one has definitely, I mean, it has stickers all over it, which is kind of annoying. And I was not able to uh, peel off the sticker. Sometimes when I started peeling off the spine sticker, it kind of like started chipping away at the artwork. Uh, so I figured just leave it alone. But 
yeah, those are uh, some criterion that they had there, which was fun. And then this book sale also had uh, mystery boxes. And it was like 50 plus movies in a box that was all taped up for $7. Um, and I was expecting most of it to be junk. You know, I decided to pick up one mystery box. Um, and I there was a few titles in there. Most of the titles, though, were completely junk. And there was, you know, documentaries of stuff or just like a random disc of like a Star Trek show or uh, stuff like that. Just completely random stuff. Uh, in my opinion, I don't think a mystery box really works well for a book sale like this, especially being a dollar a piece. I feel like they would have made more money if they just, you know, sold the movies individually but I ended up picking up a box and um, these are the titles that I figured I'm going to be adding to my collection. Uh, most of them are going to be going uh, either just up on Facebook Marketplace or uh, you know just donating donating them to a um, you know thrift shop or whatever. Uh, but the first, the first one here, this is a Clint Eastwood film that I've been wanting to check out um, but that is a film uh, Richard Jewell and so I don't know anything about it, um, but it looks kind of interesting. And I feel like I saw the trailer um, for this, but uh, yeah, excited to check that out. Uh, and this is one that's been on my radar. Uh, it kind of looks like a you know fun like indie film that, uh, again, I don't know anything about it, but it looks fun. Um, and that is the film Almost Friends. So I just have never been able to come across a, uh, a copy of this. So I'm excited to uh, check that out. And again, this is one that's been on my radar, but I've just never gotten around to uh, checking out. Um, and I feel like somebody recommended this film to me before, but that is the movie Only Lovers Left Alive. And the last one uh, within the mystery box that I'll be uh, holding on to is actually a Criterion film, and that is the film Still Walking. So I have, um, I don't know what spy number this is. It is covered up by the sticker. Um, I haven't tried to peel off the sticker. Unfortunately, though, this is a printed out artwork. And so it's like, uh, you know, just be printed through a regular printer. Um, but, and it, it is also missing the uh, the booklet, but uh, that is okay. I figured, you know, part of a mystery box of, you know, 50 movies for $7. I got a criterion out of it. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not the worst uh, situation out there, but... Uh, then, of course, since I was at a book sale, I had to pick up some books, um, but I got some uh, Star Wars books like this. Um, just pretty much if it was a uh, Star Wars book and it was not a, um, like a Disney Star Wars book, I was going to grab it. Um, but that's just some, some photos in here um, of the behind the scenes and whatnot of the films. So that's kind of fun. I think books were a dollar a piece as well. Uh, and then I just, you know, I really uh, like vintage cameras and just old camera equipment and stuff like that. So I just grabbed a camera book um, and mainly because it's just, you know, so many just old cameras throughout it and stuff, which is kind of fun. Um, and like I said, with the Star Wars books, um, they had a, like a couple that were uh, like Disney Star Wars. And so these were books that were, you know, printed after uh, George Lucas sold Star Wars, which I don't really have too much interest in uh, with those because it's, you know, it's basically Disney recreating their own canon, which uh, I'm more interested in the uh, old books. And so I'm not a huge reader either, which I should probably mention. But uh, the first one, this is a Star Wars, The Force, Un Force Unleashed 2. So, and again, these also do have the uh, the library stickers on them, which is uh, unfortunate, but um, figured I would grab them for a dollar. Uh, and then Star Wars, The Old Republic. And uh, this is The Secrets of Star Wars, Shadow of the Empire. And I think this is just, yeah, a bunch of other behind the scenes stuff, I believe. Uh, so the types of books I usually gravitate towards um, either at like thrift shops or uh, something like a book sale uh, are usually like camera books or uh, stuff that has to do with movies, like movie books or photography or stuff like that. And so I'm always like looking for uh, stuff like this, which is just kind of uh, talking about like uh, video production and, uh, you know, some of the stuff might be outdated, so it's like, you know, older video production, but uh, it's still just kind of fun. I think this was, let's see, when was it printed? Um, 1994. So, or nope, 19, I'm sorry, 2007. Um, 
So it is kind of like outdated, but I figured for a dollar, it's kind of cool. Um, and uh, this is also just like a, you know, restoring old camera book, uh, which is kind of fun. And, you know, something that I would like to actually learn um, at some point in the future, but uh, this is the darkroom handbook. So I'd love to learn how to do darkroom photography or darkroom development, I guess is what it would be called. Um, so, and the last book I picked up, uh, which is just James Bond, The Secret World of 007, which is a book that I remember picking up a lot when I was younger. Speaking of books, uh, after this book sale, I ended up going to a, a little bookstore down the road, and I found some Criterion there before, and so I, I'm always, uh, if I'm in the area, I do try to stop in there and just see what they have. Uh, but the first thing I found, actually, was a, a book. And um, I technically already have this book, but I don't have this cover, and I really love this uh, artwork. And that is just uh, Star Wars by George Lucas. And I believe this uh, artwork is actually kind of expensive, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, but I got this for $3, uh, which is fun. And the other item that I picked up from this uh, store, this is a brand new factory sealed Criterion title. It's actually out of print too, but this was uh, $15. And that is the film Forbidden Games. And so you can see on the spine or the top of the movie, it still has the sticker. Uh, it's brand new factory sealed, which is always fun. Um, so I'm happy to uh, add this to the collection. This is spine number 318. And I'm actually going to skip what I picked up next because I feel like that is the best item out of this lot that I was able to find. Um, but the following day, I stopped in at a, a Goodwill um, and I actually found a few things. Um, this is just a Stephen King book that I, uh, I'm missing out of my collection. And so I have most of his books, which I'd really like to actually start reading them. And then I was actually able to find a couple movies uh, when I was there. And I believe they were like a dollar a piece, but this is a Warner Archives collection title. Um, and that is Cry Havoc. So I feel like this is also uh, out of print, if I'm not mistaken, which is kind of fun. And then the other uh, title that I picked up from Goodwill, um, this reminds me of like the Disney Treasures collection, um, but that is the film Hercules. And I think I saw like one of these on eBay, uh, these like steel tins for the movie Hercules, but you just kind of open it up and it has the uh, movie. And then it also has a, uh, you know, a certificate of authenticity, which is kind of fun. And so my number is uh, 110 out of 3,500. So it's kind of fun. Uh, I don't see stuff like this out at Goodwills too often. And then the, the last item that I picked up, um, throughout this last weekend, I guess. Uh, this is a movie that I've been looking for for a while now, and uh, I feel like I've talked about this um, in past videos where the, the slipcover for this movie alone went out of print, which was a very strange thing to happen for a mainstream movie like this. Um, and, you know, let alone getting the exclusive editions, whether that was the Steelbook or I believe Target or Best Buy had an a, uh, exclusive. Um, and uh, I was able to come across this um, in Walmart uh, with a, this is the Steelbook edition. So this is the limited or collector's edition or whatever um, of the film Oppenheimer. So this alone on eBay, I feel like sells for like 50 plus dollars. Um, but they had it at Walmart on the shelf uh, for $30. And so I was able to grab this finally. I've seen this once in theaters, but I've been wanting to rewatch it. Uh, and, you know, I was, I've been holding off buying it. Uh, I've seen it on 4K, but none of them had the slipcover. And so I've been holding off purchasing either the, you know, 4K slipcover or this steelbook. I pretty much gave up on trying to find this steelbook, uh, mainly because I just knew it was going to be impossible to find. And it was going to be, you know, if I did find it, it's going to be on eBay or at like an exchange or, uh, you know, half price books or something. And they're going to be asking, you know, eBay pricing. And so I'm very excited to actually add this to my collection because, I really enjoy this movie, and so I'm very excited to uh, sit down and rewatch it. But that is everything that I picked up. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if there is anything like fascinating that I, uh, you know, grabbed. Uh, I think I've only seen a handful of the titles. Um, I mean, All Quiet on the Western Front, or Avatar, or Babylon, or you know, Oppenheimer, or Hercules, I guess. Um, but most of the stuff I picked up, I have not actually seen. So I am very curious on it. Um, but let me know if there's any cool things that you found in. Uh, library books
book sales. I know this is kind of the time for library book sales going on. I feel like it's like early summer is when they start, you know, rolling these things out. But um, me and my wife, we uh, want to try and make it a habit to go to more library book sales because it's, you know, it's a fun time. So uh, I will say that libraries are underrated. I should, um, I would definitely highly recommend, you know, finding out your local library and, you know, checking out their uh, schedules for book sales and stuff because I feel like you can get some decent stuff. And um, I mean, it is kind of annoying that they're ex library copies, but, you know, for only a couple dollars, I feel like it's, you know, not that bad. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, linked down below is my letterbox and a few other things uh, if you're curious to go check those out. Um, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.